I haven't got the clearest idea what I'm going to talk about in this video. I have a couple notions that I'm going to try, so we'll see how it goes. I suppose I could just not upload it if it sucks, but it's every time, no matter how bad it is, I end up uploading, uploading it anyway. So first thing, I've already hit a, a milestone in my, my booktube channel history and in my horror mayhem a month history is I've reached my first DNF and one of the other videos DNFs will come up a few times one of my other videos uh, one of the tag videos I really couldn't even think of anything I did not finish in a long time so I was here in my Airbnb in Albania enjoying a nice rainy morning and I thought I would try the first week prompt in the horror mayhem and so i chose a book by ismail kadare who's the greatest writer in albanian history he's not really a horror writer well by no means a horror writer um nobel can perennial nobel contender kind of writer political writer i've read a couple of his books that i really liked especially the first one i read uh, the the Trader's Niche, uh, which is a short book. Most of his books are pretty short. Trader's Niche probably would have fit the prompt well enough. The prompt for the first week is to read local horror, local to you, whatever that is. Uh, he had a book, yeah, but, but I had already read The Trader's Niche, so I tried The Ghost Writer, writer, R-I-D-E-R, -E like the Marvel character, um, which is kind of horror adjacent, I guess. It's uh, really a retelling of a folk tale set in medieval times. I didn't care for it, though. It's only about 200 pages long, and I got about halfway through it. Honestly, I should have stopped reading it after about a quarter of the way through it because I just could tell I wasn't going to be into it. I wasn't on board. I just wasn't, didn't feel like something I wanted to read right now. And that's the best reason to stop reading a book. Even if it's a good book, if it's not the right time for you to read it, you're not going to give it the, the attention it deserves. You might be able to pick it up another time, or you might just have to move on. This is one of his earlier books. Uh, I felt it was kind of really flat. I really didn't, I probably don't have the background in Albanian history to understand it, to follow it really well. So, uh, but the reason I'm bringing it up other than just to come clean about not why I'm not going to finish the prompt because I couldn't find anything else that would even be a possibility. One of his other books might it looks like it has my, some sort of supernatural element, but that one was only available from my library and not as a Kindle download, but as a uh, one of those. Sometimes you get those where you can only read them on the Libby app, and that's horrible trying to read on the Libby app, so I'm not going to do that. I can't remember the name of that one right now. But, you know, I won't list these books anyway because I'm not recommending them. I'm not, I'm not saying uh, The Ghost Rider is a, is a one-star book or anything because I haven't read it. Uh, but I was thinking about you know, the question that comes up sometimes about does BookTube change your reading? And in this case, it did because I was forcing myself to keep reading this book just because it fit a prompt. And and uh, and I wanted to do a video on it, and then I realized that was ridiculous. I'm, I'm wasting my time. I could be reading something I would enjoy reading instead. So I probably spent another hour on this book that I wouldn't have <coughs> if I was just reading out of my own. I would just put it aside, thoughtlessly, someone, uh, you know, without a second thought. So that was a reminder to me uh, to uh, stay. Uh, Stay true to my reading uh, habits and just let the booktube stuff sort of fit around that. So moving on from that, there won't be, I don't have any, I thought about it quite a bit, there won't be any other attempts to make, to make the first week prompt for Horror Mayhem, um, but I'm, I have a bunch of other books I want to read that I'm really excited to get started with. And also... In this same video, five minutes, I'll, I might as well throw in the bingo card 
there is, I forgot to write it down. I was going to write it down and credit the person who created the bingo card for, for the Horror Mayhem month. Um, I'll put it in the comments, of course. I don't have a printer, so I wrote it out on an empty page of my um, calendar in my in my notebook. Uh, here's my notebook channel. If I start a notebook channel, it would all be about this notebook because it's the only one I have. I'm not going to start one of those, but they are pretty addicting. If you've watched any of those notebook channels or uh, Moleskin cha channels or uh, what do you call them? Organizer channels. They can be very addicting. It was probably one of the first things I started watching on YouTube years ago was people buying uh, notebooks and putting stickers in notebooks and stuff like that. It's really addicting. Hobby. Anyway. So there is this, but I did copy it over. There's a bingo card of, of things you can you can select off. to match with your own horror reading. And there's some of them are, are pretty interesting and I have a couple of suggestions for a few of them. I just throw in here from books I've already read that I can't, uh, that I'm not gonna reread or not gonna throw into the challenge. But if people are curious about them, if they're gonna do the bingo card, I have some suggestions on some of them. Uh, one of the first ones is Universal Monsters. Uh, I was gonna, Thought about reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley for that, but I'm actually saving that for later in the year. I'm going to read it for a different event. It was on my list to reread this year anyway. I think I'm going to use it on, in the science fiction event that's coming up. Second one was graphic novel, and I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll read. Uh, I'll get a Marvel graphic novel of a collection of Ghost Rider, either the original Ghost Rider, which was a cowboy character, or the more famous one, which was the motorcycle character that was made into a Nicolas Cage movie. And that'll match with the Ghost Rider by Ishmael Kadari. Um, and then I thought, that's really just too precious and stupid of a way to, to link up books, because um, there's no relation to that Ghost Rider, to those Ghost Riders in there. And since I'm not reading the Kadari book anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, some of these others, Cult Horror. I might read this one. I don't know if you can see this. See The Tribe by Barry Wood. That might be a cult. I don't haven't read that much about the book, so I might read that for that. One of the other uh, promises, Dolls. Looks like When Darkness Falls. Oh, no, When Darkness Loves Us by, what's her name? Elizabeth Engstrom. That might fit for that. The Nest, I'm pretty sure that will fit for animal or Killer Animals. Um, there's another one for killer animals called The Pack that I have on here that I'm definitely going to read. I'll probably read both The Pack and The Nest. And there's also the Rogers Old Cheap Old Book Club uh, book for the month, which is The Beetle by Richard March. So those are some... I'm going to have to listen to this again and write everything down that I mentioned here. Those are some you could read for killer animals. Uh, cozy horror. For that, I'm probably going to find I'm probably going to find some of these E.F. Benson or Edith Wharton uh, stories that I've got that are probably going to work for cozy horror. Sort of. I know it's a it's a genre, it's kind of a controversial subgenre. Our Lady of Darkness. There's one about witches. I would read... Hmm. This might be about cults. I'm not sure. I'm going to read this, though. I really want to read it. Our Lady of Darkness. Uh, chilling novel of the supernatural in modern San Francisco. It might be about cults or it might be about witches. The witch book I you could read if you're looking for a book about witches. They're not that hard to find. Is Conjure Wife by Fritz Leiber made into a movie. It's also known as Burn Witch Burn. Well, I think that's the name of the movie. If you ever wondered uh, what the, the 60s sitcom it'd be, which would be like if it was a drama instead of a sitcom. Slasher. I've got a book. Uh, I've got actually an anthology of slasher stories uh, with an introduction by Robert Block edited by Stephen Jones. 
the British uh, horror anthology editor who did all the best new horror anthologies for a long time. That's a illustration of Robert Block as a psycho killer. There, you could read Psycho Block. Um, psycho Block. Robert Block has a lot of stories about Jack the Ripper. Uh, these are all killer stories. I'll probably read a couple out of there. A lot of good writers in this uh, anthology. Joe Lansdale is one of his early horror stories. Stephen Rassing Tem has written like two billion horror stories. Basil Copper, who I think uh, continued the... That's the person who continued the Solar Ponds stories that were started by August Derleth, which are uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes pastiches, isn't it? Brian Hodge, popular writer Scott Edelman, very nice writer and editor. Lawrence Block, Hot Eyes, Cold Eyes. I bet I've... I probably read that. I don't remember the title, but I've read uh, I read that giant uh, Lawrence Block story collection called Enough Rope, I think. It's like 800 pages, and I'm sure it's in there. You know, Jay, Jay Russell, is that? No, anyway. Uh, oh, Robert Block's famous story, Yours Truly, Jack the Ripper. Ramsey Campbell, always good. So there's there's stuff in there since this is this this challenge is based on challenges essentially about shorter works. Um, so maybe I can count a couple of those. Cannibalism, I don't have one for that. But if I were you and I wanted to read a book on cannibalism. I would seek out the work of Jack Ketchum, uh, especially The Woman. Uh, the Woman is a sequel to another book whose name I can't remember now. They're both pretty cannibalistic, but The Woman, I think, is better. Uh, elemental Horror. I'll think about that one more. Ghost, that's easy. Plenty of ghost books. Aliens. Um, home Invasion, if I were going to read a Home Invasion book, which is my my very least, my, my most despised, the most horrible, whenever I read or watch a Home Inver Invasion movie, it just makes me sick. It is the worst thing ever, and, and I despise it, but the best one by far is... And means the most horrible one by far that I've ever read is let's all play or let's go play at the Adamses. Let's go play at the Adams. Let's all play at the Adams. I'll put it in an extremely well written book. Extremely visceral, extremely horrible. It's one of those kind of books you read. Like, what kind of monster wrote this story? Um, you know, very effective. That's what you're reading horror for. So, you know, you have to be in the right mood, but let's see what else we got here. Cryptic, don't know, dolls, clowns. Other than it, I don't know what I would read for that, but I'm not going to read it. Which is one of the major Stephen King books that I have not read. I'd say the two big Stephen King books that I have not read are It and Pet Cemetery, and it just seems like I'm not going to go back and read those. Evil Children, plenty of great Evil Children movies. I'm sure there are good books, too. I think you could get a play of... Uh, what's that most famous uh, novel about the uh, little girl who's a murderer? Our most famous um, movie. What in the world is it called? There's a play of that. You could probably get the book a version of the play. Dystopian Horror. I haven't got an idea for that. But I really own oh, folk horror. Uh, one folk horror book I really like a lot is by Tom. I always say his name wrong. Tyron uh, Harvest Home. It's an excellent book. Very well written. He wrote. He wrote the other, and he wrote Harvest Home, and he wrote um, some other novels. But the other and Harvest Home, his first two books, are, are really his only two horror books. You can also see him, because he was an actor, you can see him in I Married a Monster from Outer Space. He plays the monster, spoiler alert. 
handsome guy who became who was a sort of second string actor and became a best selling novelist in the seventies. Dolls, clowns, holiday, evil swimming, holiday horror. Hmm. Some of these uh, would be easier to do as um, based on a true story. I, I guess you could read uh, some of these Jack the Ripper novels. That there's so many of them, or you could read Psycho, supposedly based on the Ed Gein, um, sort of based on Ed Gein, I guess, kind of not. I kind of think Science of the Lamb is based on Ed Gein too, or just I don't know if I would count that as. Uh, there was one more I wanted to say something about. Green cover. I don't think I have one for green cover. Slasher, cult horror, indie horror. Indie horror, I wonder if that could be... I have something I'm going to read for indie horror, meaning an independent publisher. There's two schools of thought on indie horror. Does it mean, is that a euphemism for self-published? Or does it mean any small publisher outside of the big five publishers? That's how I'm going to count it, because there is a book... I'm going to read by uh, Nicole Cushing, which is published by a small press. And I'm going to read that for indie horror. Uh, the Mirrors. If you can see that. Oh, there's some other giveaways for... So I'm going to hear the preview of what I'm going to read for Sports Summer. Um, but we won't talk about that now. That's not till June. Uh, let's see what I got here. That's probably enough for this video. Uh, this is really just holding a place because I didn't finish any books today. I did finish reading. I'm about one chapter from the end of volume two of the autobiography, or the biography of uh, Charlotte Bronte, which I had discussed before. Good book, glad, I'm, glad I read it. And then I gotta get back to, I haven't mentioned this one in a long time. Maybe I should not mention it and just hope people forgot, but Still haven't started volume two of The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire by Gibbon, but I'm going to try and... Uh, what else have I got here to talk about? This is really boring. All right, happy reading.